Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to e -by Air. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of brand new Seagate SSDs with a difference. These are custom special edition Star Wars The Mandalorian drives, combining the best from the worlds of Disney with the best in the storage world to create a pair of really interesting products. In this video, I'll be walking and talking you through the feature set and why you should consider these drives for your next PC build or PC upgrade. Let's do this. It goes without saying that both of these drives are currently available over at ebuy.com, so don't waste any time, check out the links in the video description. I'm going to start off by looking at the M.2 form factor drive, the SSD that goes onto your motherboard as opposed to plugs in via a traditional SATA cable. This is based off Seagate's very reliable and incredibly highly rated Firecuda 530 design, bringing the best in Gen 4 NVMe speeds with a Star Wars twist. Now let's start off with the speed, shall we? Because for a prospective SSD buyer, they're definitely the most important feature. 7,000 megabytes per second on the read and over 6,000 megabytes per second on the right for the one terabyte capacity is a really really impressive set of data but don't just trust the seagate data sheet oh no here at ebuyer we've done our own in-house testing and we'll pop the results on your screen now our testing was conducted with crystal disk speed test which we'll link in this video's description so you can test your current drive setup and see what kind of an upgrade this star wars edition drive would be now seagate have partnered up in making this drive a bit more aesthetically interesting but some of the changes go much further than just aesthetics alone. And the best way to start demonstrating this is to open up the drive itself. This is custom packaging, it's limited edition packaging that you'll only find on this specific SKU of drive. And also comes with this nice little postcard or souvenir which you can keep pop on your setup wherever you like to really add to the overall experience. First impressions of the drive are great and even this Damascus wavy line finish and Imperial logo are actually embroidered or cut out of the metal itself. They're machined as opposed to just being printed which would have been the much cheaper but less effective solution. If you run your fingers over you can feel the indents on all of this enclosure which is gorgeous. One thing that's also worth bearing in mind is Seagate have continued their great partnership with EK Waterblocks, one of the leading cooling providers in the PC hardware space, to create an awesome heatsink that is sure to keep this drive nice and chilly. Gen 4 drives are so powerful, especially compared to their Gen 3 counterparts, that they can run warmer, meaning a good cooling solution like this is especially appreciated. This is also perfect for a PlayStation 5, a design which doesn't give your SSD hardly any air airflow, making it a bit of a pressure cooker in there. You haven't got anything to worry about with the 530. Or this, of course, limited edition Beskar Fire Cuda MVME. So that's a basic look at the M.2 drive. We'll come back to that later. We've also, of course, got this. This is the Fire Cuda ingot drive in a two and a half inch SSD form factor. Now, M.2 MVME drives are great. They plug and play directly into your motherboard. But what if you've run out of slots or your board just doesn't quite support the latest Gen 4 standard? Well, don't worry, Seagate don't want you to miss out on the Mandalorian love, and that's where this beauty comes in. I'm not sure this is exactly the correct way to open a limited edition box, but it's the only tool I've got and it will have to do. Let's go ahead then and remove this one. Packaging is very premium, but a bit tight to open if nothing else. Once again, you get this nice little pull tab, ribbon pull tab that we can reveal our drive. I like that a lot, actually. You can see the two of them side by side. The size difference probably stands out the most, but it's great to see the same design theme actually carried over. And heck, there's nothing stopping you from picking both of these drives up and actually having a full Star Wars Mandalorian storage setup. Oh yes. Now much like the other drive, this also pushes the limits as far as the architecture it's built on goes. Using a SATA data connection, we're limited here to about 600 megabytes per second, just based on the limitations of the SATA technology. But Seagate haven't let that stop them. With read and write speeds over 550 megabytes per second, once again, don't just trust their data sheet, check out our in-house testing too. There are some impressive results on offer. The drive though does feel solidly built with a nice metal enclosure, no plastic SSD design here which is great to see and running on the SATA form factor means of course we can scale up with higher capacities and also run multiple of these without using too many of your motherboard's PCIe lanes. 
Plus, if a nice set of collector stickers are what you're after, then you'll find a wide range from EK to Seagate to Disney themed add-ons that you can add to your setup or your PC build to customize it to your liking. It's also worth mentioning Seagate's fantastic included warranty and data recovery. With a five year industry leading warranty and three years of data recovery, meaning if this drive fails, you can send it off to Seagate free of charge and they'll recover your data. There really are some great selling points here. You also get some really fantastic endurance on these drives. It does differ based on, of course, the model and the capacity. So we'll pop some key outline specs on your screen. But it's an area you should really consider when shopping for a Gen 4 drive. Speed is, of course, very important, but how many total terabytes you can read and write in the lifetime of the drive is important. Remember, flash storage mediums like SSDs in comparison to hard drives can be much more vulnerable to data loss over time if they're not from the right manufacturers and backed by the right build quality. And it's an area Seagate really excel. If you'd like to learn more about these drives or pick one up for yourself, please do head to the eBuy links in the description of this video. They're really worth a look and are a unique add-on to your system that are also going to be fantastic for any of our Disney or Star Wars enthusiasts out there. Thanks for tuning in though, and as always, we hope to see you soon.